In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create custom ribbon tabs in AutoCAD. In a previous video, I had created a custom panel, and now I want to create a new tab to place this panel on. As I look in my upper left section of my CUI dialog box, remember if you closed your CUI dialog box, you can just simply type in CUI and press enter. Here I have my different panels, and then I also have my different tabs. So if I wanted to, for example, have this show up on the Home 2D tab, I could simply drag my newly created panel called Custom up into one of these existing ribbon tabs. But what I want to do is create my own. So I'm going to right click on the tabs here and choose New Tabs. And I'm just going to keep it pretty simple. I'll just call this one my Custom Tab. And then I can drag and drop panels onto this tab. So I am going to come down here and find my custom panel. And then I am just going to drag it up. You've got to be a little patient here. Try not to accidentally let go of the mouse as you're dragging. And then I'm going to drop this on my custom tab. I can also add other panels to it. So maybe if I want to add the text panel to my tab, I can do that. I can reorder them depending on which ones I want to come first. Uh, again, I'll just grab one more here. Let's use the Home 2D Draw. And I'll place that in here as well. So I now have my new tab created. Now, if I were to click OK and close out of here, I'm not going to see any changes here. And that's because while I've created a new panel and I created a new tab, I also need to add it to a workspace. So in the bottom right corner of my screen, I have my different workspaces. I can see that I am in drafting and annotation. So what I want to do then is I want to add that new tab to my drafting and annotation workspace. So this is another place I can get into the customize user interface dialog box as well. So I'll just jump in there. And if I select workspaces here, I can see, of course, it'll explain what they are. And then I can also select each individual workspace and see information about them. So one of the things that you see about a workspace is what the different ribbon tabs, panels, etc., are loaded in here. So what I want to do then is I want to add my new ribbon tab to the workspace tabs. So over here on the left side, I'll expand my ribbon, expand my tabs, find my new custom should be at the end here. And then I'm going to drag and drop it over here. Let's say I'll make it the second tab. So I'll drop it there. looks like it dropped it at the end. So I'm going to drag and drop it back up to make it the second tab here. I'll go ahead and click OK. And I can see that my workspace has been updated. I now have my new custom tab here that I can select. As you can see, it has the text panel added to it. It also has the draw panel. And then it has the custom panel that I created in an earlier video. It also has the little drop down that I added to it as well. Now keep in mind, this is just part of this particular workspace. If I change to another workspace, such as 3D Basics, you can see that tab is gone. But when I return to my drafting and annotation, that tab is back and ready for use. That concludes this look at creating a custom ribbon tab in AutoCAD and adding it to a workspace. 